Hey ladies, coach Lou checking in and I'm going to quickly talk to you about understanding scales so you can understand the term weight um, a bit more clearly and hopefully it might help your transformation journey um, be a bit easier because um, commonly in the past we concentrated on the scales and we talked about how we wanted to lose weight but we weren't really understanding the fact that the body is made up of certain components um, and hence why sometimes losing weight can become very stressful, very confusing as it goes up and down, or it doesn't move at all in a week where you've ate really clean, you've worked really hard, and you just can't understand why weight hasn't changed. But when we um, use the term weight when it comes to scales, we're talking about changing the shape of our body, and that is where we go wrong, because your body is made up of three components, and those components are body fat, which is the one we wanna lose, muscle, which is what we wanna gain, and water. So when you stand on the scales and you say I've lost weight, it's actually referring to those three things. It's not referring to body fat. How can you know which one it is? And it can very much be affected, the scales can very much be affected by various things. So for example, if you've done a lot of CV and you stand on the scales, it's very likely that the scales might go down slightly. Now that doesn't mean you've lost body fat in that one hour or however long it's been you've done CV. It could be that your body has become slightly dehydrated or it could just be that you've burned a bit of muscle if you've done too much CV. Um, if you weight train a lot, you may find that um, you might be building muscle and maybe not um, depending on how your training's going, you might have built more muscle that week than you have burned body fat and your weight might change slightly again because muscle weighs more than body fat. Um, if you haven't drank much, you will find that the weight on the scales go down as well because your body's dehydrated. If you drink a lot of water, and water is amazing by the way, it's something you should be drinking a lot of, especially when you're looking to lose body fat, you will find the scales may go up slightly that day. That's because your body's full of water. If you're hormonal, and most definitely can be affected. It's not that your body has got fat overnight, um, it's just that when we're hormonal, our water retention's affected, and I know myself that during those periods, I can be put on maybe about four pounds um, in the space of a day, and it's not that I put weight on, it's just my, my body doing its thing. So you can see when you understand it, actually, why are we still being primitive and using scales? Now don't get me wrong, there is a place for scales. Um, at the moment, I. I'm weighing myself but I'm doing it in a very specific way because I'm heading to a competition and food is very very specific but I understand it and I also understand if it hasn't gone up or down it's not the end of the world um, and this is where I'm, I'm trying to encourage you to change your relationship with scales and um, you know if your your diet and did really well and I even hate the word diet um, and you stand on the scales and you're like oh, I haven't even cheated this week why have I not gone up or down a pound just remember that it's not necessarily um, body fat um, that you've been retaining. You you may see later. Um, you may have lost body fat that week. It's just maybe not showing up in the scales because you may have a bit of building the muscle, or you may be carrying a fair bit of water depending on what you're drinking. And hopefully, you can see by this video that it's actually quite a complex process, and you can see why it's actually quite a primitive way to be the only thing that you're engaging. And with my own clients, I certainly um, encourage them to use three methods. Um, I encourage the scales if they understand the process and they're not going to stand on the scales and have a meltdown when it's gone up or down a couple of pounds. Uh, don't get me wrong, if you've shot up, you know, you know, half a stone, then yeah, then there might be a problem there, might be something going on. Um, but generally I will get them to have a good relationship with scales if they're going to use it. If not, I tell them to ditch it because taking pictures of your body um, and taking measurements of your body is going to be far more accurate because pictures don't lie. So you may look at yourself and not like what you see, but it's the same effect as what the scales have, except when you take those pictures again, and you have been following a clean diet, and you have been following a good training program, you will be able to see the changes that your body is making. And the same with measurements. Again, with measurements, sometimes they can change slightly because you might have built a bit of muscle, or um, it might have gone up slightly, or there might be a bit of water retention, but generally they're still more accurate than what the scales are. Um, you, using the scales is only um, a good method if you understand that process, and understand that a couple of pounds here and there, even four pounds or so, up and down, um, isn't really 
really the end of the world. And a great example of that is um, most of you have followed me for a, a long time now. And when I came back into coaching, and until my first photo shoot, it was a good 12 weeks now, I looked about half the size. My weight actually was only uh, lucky if it was even half a stone of difference, and that was only because I did a cut at the end. Um, so, and, and generally, actually, my weight isn't massively different now to what it was back then, but my body's a completely different shape. And you can see why, um, when, unless you are an athlete and there's a very specific process you go through, and um, w you know, there's certain processes that match up, you can see why there's a place for it then. But you know, if you're um, you're not doing that and you're just going through, you know, a nutritional plan and training, you can see why you need to understand it, but don't concentrate on it. And it's something I get really passionate about with my ladies when they're getting upset and they're saying, "Oh, but I don't understand. I'm putting weight on," and I'm like, "How do you know what you've put on? How do you know? You could just be, you know, full of water from throughout the day. You could be hormonal or pre-hormonal, you know, or you know, it just could just be the fact you just, you know, you, you've built a bit of muscle this week and you've not maybe burned as much fat. You don't know when you stand on the scales what it is. It's like a box of chocolates and you haven't looked at, you know, the 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 card that you get and you've picked one out uh, and you know and you don't know what, what you're gonna get and that's just what the scales are. But when you understand them and you have that appreciation for them, um, they can be really good just for for a record of okay it's going down or I've gone down a lot this month but it's maybe plateauing a bit right now. It's good for tracking but it's not the be end all um, of tracking your progress because it's quite a primitive way of looking at things now um, when you're just going through you know, a normal style transformation. Um, so I just wanted to put it up. I've done a video like this previously but it's miles and miles back and you don't want to be checking through and a few people just asked me previous to another video that I've just done. Hopefully this helps you understand the scale. So remember ladies, body fat, muscle, water, all components that your body is made up of. When you stand on the scales and you say, oh, I've lost weight, it does not mean you've lost body fat, or if you've gained weight, it does not mean you've put on body fat. There's those three components to look at. And it's really important, actually, when I'm talking about this, go back and watch the video I just did on not starving yourself, um, and you can see why the scales, um, that old way of scales, and not eating, you can see why, why you can get a bit confused. Um, so this is why I'm not pro um, diet plans where weighing is the key, because you're setting people up to get upset, because some weeks it's gonna go up a couple of pounds, some weeks it's gonna go down a couple of pounds, but you don't actually know that you've lost body fat, which is the thing that you wanna lose, yeah? Um, you know, um, even when you get to a set point and it's just about building muscle and you haven't got much body fat anymore, the skills are gonna start going up again, it's a different process. So yeah. So ladies, stop concentrating on the scales. If you are concentrating on them, understand them a bit better. Um, get taking pictures of yourself. And I get it can be difficult, but it's that accountability. You don't want to see yourself in that first photo looking the same when you, you take the photo you know, in a month's time. Um, and I always recommend every couple of weeks or every month doing that. And the same with scales. Don't be standing on the scales every day or every week. You know, do it every couple of weeks or every month. Because um, you're going to drive yourself insane. And um, especially when you're due that hormonal period. Because, uh, like I say, for the majority of women, it definitely does affect you. Because we hold a lot of water retention. And we're not feeling good about ourselves at that period in time anyway. We're already feeling emotional. Let's just add to it by standing on the scales. So hopefully um, you'll start using more modern methods, more accurate methods of tracking your progress. Um, give me a little like or a little love heart if you feel this video's been useful. And like I said in my last video, is there anything specific anyone would like to know, I'm more than happy always to come online and talk to you about it and give you the information so you can make good choices because when it comes to changing the shape of your body, there's certain things you should always be doing. One you should always be doing it in the most healthy manner because at the end of the day, your body is with you till the day that you die and it's the one thing you should always look after. Um, it affects your, your mental health, um, it affects how you feel, everything. There's so much that changing the shape of your, your, your body can do, but you need to do it in the proper manner so that, like I say, you can look after your, your mental health as well as your as your body. Um, and like I say, sometimes those old primitive methods do not look after your mental health. They actually make it worse because you start feeling worse about yourself than you did in the beginning. And uh, the human body is, is, um, is a great thing and um, it's not actually that difficult to change the shape of your body when you know how to do it properly. Have an absolute fantastic day guys, catch you all soon, coach Lou.